That is one crazy little monkey. My next stop on my Malaysia trip is to check out the Batu Caves. The limestone rock that forms the caves are over 400 million years old. But the feature that steals the show is this huge statue of Lord Murugan, Hindu god of war, and also the son of Shiva. Another thing to watch for are the long-tailed macaques. They are everywhere. Well, let's start our ways. We have to go up over 270 steps small steep steps. As cute as these little monkeys are, it's very important not to feed them. Let them find their own food, even if they have babies. Just let them be. Creepy monkeys. So again, don't feed them, or don't let them smoke, or don't let them litter. Well after you get past all the little guys, it's nice to look back at how far you've come. The caves are one of the most popular tourist sites of all Malaysia. This guy comes here all the time. At the top of the caves there are amazing Hindu statues. Religion is something I always find interesting. And as always, I'm looking for wildlife. Not so wild, but here's a leghorn. And another silly monkey. As much as I like being outside, the caves are calling me. You can explore the caves by going on a tour from the Malaysian Nature Society. And this is just not any cave, it's the Dark Cave. First explored in the late 1800s. So after buying a ticket and putting a silly hat on, it's time to go. And the first thing to know about caves is the whole stalactite stalagmite things. Stalactites come from the top, stalagmites grow up from the bottom. All these cool structures made from dripping water. Amazing. Another thing to look for are the bats. Lots and lots of them. They have such an important job in eating all the insects every night. And when they aren't flying around outside eating, they're inside pooping. Check out all the guano, or bat poop. And remember, even though guano may look tasty to this rodent, don't eat it. You'll get sick. The formations all throughout the cave are unreal. At one time this was all opened for free-for-all to the general public, and a few ruined it for everyone by spray painting their names in some areas and walking all on the formations, so this whole thing had to be closed, and now you can only access it on a guided tour, which is a good thing to help preserve this place and all of its fragile formations. One thing's for sure, when the flashlight isn't on, you can't see a thing. I guess that's why they call it the Dark Caves. Some of the formations look too good to be true, like look at this. It really looks like someone painted it, but it is indeed all natural. And you could find more than bats in these caves, as these caves are home to snakes and insects, including the rarest spider in the world. This isn't it, this is just another insect as it's hard to find the rarest spider in the world. With all this creepy crawler talk, I was glad to find some light. Look at this view. These caves are a great addition to checking out the Batu Caves and the stairs. And speaking of the stairs, they're one heck of a workout. And now it's time to get back down them and pass all these monkeys. For more information, please read this video's description. And as always, thanks for watching.